securely along the top. There is something I wanted to show you with these uh, 18650 batteries that I'm not sure that some of you are aware of and it, it really in my mind it needs to uh, to be addressed when you're creating a battery for like an e-bike or, or what have you because of the the jarring or the knocking of the batteries against each other and especially as you're soldering them uh, soldering them that uh, um, you want to make sure that you're uh, you're being careful so I just want to let you uh, to be aware of, of something so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the, the uh, protective coat casing off of this one so here we have the battery and in this instance we have a little plastic Zoom out a little bit. We have a little plastic cap on top which comes off quite easy. And what I want to do, so that's the positive term, uh, terminal. This is the negative, but if you notice, it's all one sheath. So this is negative as well. I haven't tested it, but only logic says that this is negative so I'm wondering if this top bit here is in fact positive and this is negative so what I'm going to do is uh, get my multimeter re-establish the camera so I've set the, uh, the meter now what I'm going to do is touch this part on the body So that, um, that is negative. So now I'm going to touch this edge, this outer rim, and the center piece. So, as I thought, so this gap here, when bridged, will short the battery. So you need to be really careful in the wiring and where the wires rest because if they're connecting on top and they're then if they're resting on top and then they're they're laying flat and they're breaking through the plastic what's going to happen is you're going to have a short um, or a fire and if you're if you've got this thing between your legs as you're riding along on your bicycle uh, that's not going to be good so what I've decided to do is to take some extra precaution and um, cover these in some shrink wrap tubing for, uh, for some heavy duty tubing. Actually, I think it's just standard tubing, but uh, it should give it some nice, much heftier protection than this flimsy stuff. Um, I mean, it's got like this. This might even be mylar. I'm, I'm not. I don't think it's mylar. It's weird. I'm looking at the viewfinder and uh, doing it all upside down. There we go. So yeah. So next step is I'm going to show you how to uh, protect these. Here I have some uh, some electrical tubing, some protective uh, tubing. So I hear the phone going downstairs. So I'm going to open this up, pop that down in, and I'm just going to overlap it by about, I don't know, just over eighth of an inch. But this end, as you can see, it's, it's pretty long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. So it's nicely 
overlapping each side. I'm allowing for a little bit of shrinkage. So I'm going to center it inside and that should be enough to uh, to protect it and this really is a lot a lot thicker than this and I would rather have these in my setup as a battery than a bunch of these where uh, they could absolutely very easily short out and I've not heard anyone talk about this on any of the videos now in taking apart the, the uh, batteries the other day I, I just thought to myself wait a minute I think the side is also negative. So I want to show you the effect, but I don't want to burn out my battery. So I've got just a strand here. What I'm going to do. I'm just going to touch this across the two. See? And that's purely along the top. That's ridiculous. So, um, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm glad I discovered that. So what I need to do is um, they actually welded the wires welded, but that could start a fire and um, could possibly kill someone if it, if it, if they didn't know this. So what I'm going to do now is enclose it in the sheath. I'm going to heat shrink this so it's uh, nice and protected. I just uh, I just trim this down. A little bit more you know this is my first one so I just want to see how all right so I have about just under just under a quarter inch each end You know, we're not really heating up the battery too much. Well, one thing I can already tell is that this is one heck of some, it's one heck of uh, protection. <laughs> but I think this is still, still too much. I might need to shorten it even more but, but this is nice I mean this end is pretty much perfect this end is uh, is too closed in so I think if anything what I might do is just very carefully uh, use a scalpel around this edge just to open it up a little bit so that's how I'm going to do all of my 72 batteries I'm going to case them just like this so that this end is very safely uh, protected. Like once, once this is um, scratched, you've got metal surface right below it. It's very, very thin. Uh, an actual fact: this little tab here, this little piece of uh, metal sticking up, slice my finger open. It. Um, I didn't even feel it. I felt as though something had touched my finger, but. Uh, slice right through. In fact it's sticking in right now. I don't know if you can see it. Wow. That is some sharp metal. Do one last one. It doesn't get too hot. Better Stay safe and sorry.
Now what I'm going to do is get a pack of four with, that have not been coated and I'm going to see if I can tell the difference in the uh, width of the uh, four together. So what I have here is a set still together. I butt that up against this flat block. Then I have these four together and I'm gonna push. them completely together so it is it's actually one eighth thicker this set Let me zoom out so I've measured it and this all being equal with the insulation on these, this set combined is one eighth of an inch uh, wider than, than this set. I would much rather have these because now these are quite serious, seriously um, insulated on the end. And whereas these, I guess right now they're okay, um, but when you strip them down to the single cells, it's only going to take a nick to get from there to the from there to there before it will actually short out. 